of Greece. Uh, Mr. Minister, welcome. Thank you very much for accepting to be with us. We all know that uh, you have an extremely heavy agenda because of all the developments, uh, both in uh, Europe and in the country, uh, related also to the uh, management of the pandemics and the economic crisis that uh, has resulted uh, from it. Uh, we thank you once again, and of course, we wish you good luck. It is important, uh, and the good practice that we are developing in Greece, we hope that it can be an example also for other countries. The floor is yours. Thank you, George. I'd like to thank you for the invitation, the cycle of the Met Forum for this invitation. I would like also to congratulate the International Institute for Circular Economy and Climate Change of the European Public Law Organization for the initiative to organize this online public event, as well as all those supporting it. Greece is, together with Cyprus, the border of Europe in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, and thus holds a highly strategic position in the area. In this framework, Greece also holds a significant role in protecting and promoting sustainability in this part of the Mediterranean. Therefore, I am pleased to be sharing the digital floor with distinguished speakers. We will surely enrich our perspectives and provide thought-provoking remarks on this very significant topic. As we are all aware, this discussion is taking place indeed in a period of uh, high uncertainty. We are now experiencing the second wave of the pandemic, which has caused an unprecedented shock on a global basis. This shock is leading in the shrinking of European economies. The Greek economy has unavoidably been affected by the crisis. Nevertheless, until now, it has depicted remarkable resilience. This is the result of the timely taken, comprehensive, well-targeted and dynamic package of expansionary policy measures adopted by the government to support public health, employment, business liquidity, and social cohesion. However, we are fully aware of the fact that the Greek economy continues to face significant challenges relating to continued medical uncertainty and pre-existing legacy problems. We're working continuously and methodically to overcome difficulties, to tackle the health crisis, population movement, and geopolitical turbulences, to manage the return of the economy to the precarious level the soonest possible, and take advantage with prudence of the fiscal flexibility, which will continue to exist for 2021, and of course, to make the best use of the available European funds, primarily through the implementation of our national recovery and resilience plan, which will provide significant support to achieve a fair and sustainable green transition. This crisis has been without doubt prompt and dynamic. Important decisions were taken and both fiscal and liquidity boosting measures were activated. But we should also bear in mind that this health and economic crisis is closely linked to the ecosystem's delicate balance. Also, it is related to climate change and the level of sustainability incorporating in the running of our economies. Improving environmental infrastructure, reducing pollution and protecting biodiversity, defense the health and well-being of citizens against environmental-related risks, and prevents the emergency and spread of future outbreaks such as the one we are experiencing. Through the European Green Deal, launched in December 2019, before the COVID-19 crisis emerged, the European Union had set ambitious goals 
for climate neutrality, as well as for its related sustainable growth strategy for 2050. Now, in the process of recovering and building back better, the green and digital transitions, I mean to provide a path toward achieving an inclusive and sustainable future. In its recently launched 2021 annual sustainable growth strategy, the European Union urges member states to take actions to promoting a more circular economy, improving environmental infrastructure, and protecting and restoring biodiversity. In this context, transforming the linear economy, which has remained the dominant model since the onset of the Industrial Revolution, can become a major drive towards establishing a new sustainable growth model and potentially preventing future crises of this kind. In other words, promoting the green and circular economy can have a significant and positive economic, environmental, and social impact. However, it will require a major transformation of our current production and consumption patterns, along with a sustainable recovery of the current pandemic crisis. For the Greek government, the alignment of economic growth with ambitious sustainability and climate targets has been constituting a major pillar of our strategy since the beginning. We had already designed our national strategies and set Greece's ambitious goals in these emblematic policy areas even before the COVID-19 outbreak. These strategies and goals were primarily outlined in the National Energy and Climate were released one year ago and include a total Lignite phase out by 2028, which will be accompanied by integrated policy actions to ensure that no one is left behind, as outlined in the recently launched National Just Development Transition Plan. The energy interconnection of the Greek Mediterranean islands, which is expected to boost the rest penetration and provide significant economic and environmental benefits. The promotion of the circular economy and the sustainable management of resources and waste. Also, in October 2019, Greece joined the Coalition of Finance Ministers for Climate Action. Since then, we have been closely participating and supporting its work. Based on this already solid policy framework, we are planning to make the best use of the European Recovery and Resilience Funds. Through European Union's dedicated Recovery and Resilience Facility, 19 billion euros in loans, in grants, sorry, in grants, and an additional 12.7 billion euros in loans are to be received by Greece since 2026. Making these new instruments fully operational the soonest possible for tackling the health crisis and its consequences constitutes undoubtedly a big challenge. The National Recovery and Resilience Plan will be the springboard to reorient the Greek economy to a new sustainable production model and thus to achieve high growth rates while promoting economic, social, and climate resilience. The Greek government is already working hard on the completion of this plan, which will be submitted as a first draft to the European Commission. A high-level task force has been formed in the Secretary of the Government to coordinate the proposals submitted by every minister, to align the proposals of the Strategic Growth Plan by the Pisaridis Committee to the policy priorities of the government, as well as to monitor the plan's implementation and the fund's utilization. Furthermore, a special unit for the recovery fund has been created in the Ministry of Finance. Therefore, a significant part of the Greek National Recovery and Resilience Plan 
will also be dedicated to reforms and investments that will serve our national and European ambitions, ambitions towards a low carbon, resilient and resource efficient economy. These ambitions will be materialized through actions linked to the respective European flagships provided in European Union's 2021 Annual Sustainable Growth Strategy. Our national RRP will also promote sustainable finance principles by actively contributing to the objectives of the European Union taxonomy regulation. Based on this, our recovery and resilience plan is expected to incorporate important investments that support the promotion of climate change mitigation and adaptation, the sustainable use and protection of natural resources and ecosystem, as well as the effective transition to a cyclical economy through efficient waste management, pollution prevention and control. In this overall context, green is one of the four main pillars of our national recovery and resilience plan, which include, includes components consisting of relevant reforms and investments, such as, first of all, reforms and investments to power up and promote the further take up of renewables and efficient electricity and gas network infrastructures. Also, in light of the phase out of Lignite, take into account the Just Transition Plan. Secondly, reforms and investments focusing on regeneration and renovation, aiming to promote sustainable urban planning, as well as the improvement of energy efficiency in private and public buildings. Buildings in Greece account for 41% of total final energy consumption, mostly in the residential sector, with a strong need for innovation. Third action and priority, reforms and investments to promote safe and sustainable transport and logistics, and in particular, the development of electromobility and the implementation of strategic low carbon public transport projects. Also investments that pro promote interconnections with islands and neighboring countries. And fourth, reforms and investments to advance the sustainable use of resources through improved water management, as well as wastewater treatment. Furthermore, actions that improve climate resilience through climate proofing of infrastructure and environmental protection. Such investments and reforms will underpin sustainable growth and job creation in ways that protect the environment and promote social cohesion. Ladies and gentlemen, the big challenge ahead is to achieve high and sustainable growth and to improve its composition. Greece has been facing for many years a significant investment gap which must be closed. In this direction, we are set forward two interrelated objectives, managing to close the negative output gap while safeguarding responsible public finances constitutes our first major objective. And improving the economy's supply side is the second, but equally important objectives to be achieved. Now is our chance to restructure the economy, to enhance its productivity, and to improve its competitiveness. Greece is presented with a unique opportunity to boost economic activity through both investments and reforms that will have a prolonged impact on the country's long-term economic outlook while promoting our sustainability goals. We have decided to size this opportunity and reinforce Greece's strategic role as a pillar of stability and sustainability in the Eastern Mediterranean region. And for this, we are already working decisively and methodically. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much, uh, Minister Staikouras, for this uh, 
comprehensive, uh, thorough, and uh, forward-thinking presentation, which uh, shows uh, the level of the ambition of our Prime Minister, of our government, and uh, your personal level of ambition. Uh, a presentation that covers the full range of all the issues that we have uh, discussed uh, during uh, uh, this uh, forum as regards Greece, with uh, concrete uh, examples, with the view to making uh, the Greek economy a green economy, as you have said, the environment to become an economic driver for the country, to create green jobs, and of course, to develop a circular economy model to which uh, you have referred, uh, which is extremely important. We hope that all that will be, as you have underlined, uh, will be uh, happening thanks to the recovery and resilience plan and the fund, of course, the plan that we will submit soon uh, to the European Commission with the full range of initiatives and uh, axes uh, that uh, will cover what the economy needs to become, of course, COVID resilient because you have highlighted the link between climate, environment and uh, pandemics. But on the other hand, uh, to boost the economy, uh, to have a real recovery and resilience plan. And in that respect, being an islander myself and being in a forum that covers coastal areas, uh, islands and the sea, it would be extremely important to have a specific axis uh, in this plan on islands, as islands are more vulnerable in terms of climate change. We have faced the day before yesterday the big flood in Crete. Uh, other coastal areas have been affected. And of course, it is very important also to share this and uh, to have uh, the islands and uh, coastal areas axis reflected not only in our own plan and strategy, but, but also in the other Mediterranean plans equivalent initiatives. Uh, as uh, the goal of circular economy is a common goal for the uh, Mediterranean, and of course, in that respect, you are and the ministers of finance promoting the circular economy model, uh, not only across the EU, but also across the Mediterranean. Thank you very much once again. We know that uh, your time schedule is extremely heavy. Uh, there are questions, but uh, uh, we want to save your precious time. So thank you very much for being with us. Good luck and all the best. Thank you very much and congratulations for what uh, you are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you.